Check, check. All right, what's going on? All right, what's going on? We're back out here on a small little local lake in the same boat, same setup, everything was in the other day. Had some, a little bit of negativity about the Garmin live scope video we just posted. And I couldn't agree more with a lot of what a lot of y'all said. You know, it's not that fun to just sit behind somebody and watch them stare down and then set the hook on a 13 inch spotted bass. That's not that fun. So today we're gonna try to meet some of y'all's requests and actually show y'all what I'm looking at on the screen. Hunter's pretty good with the camera. She got some really good footage last winter on this same small little local lake, you know, of me catching some crappy. But today we're gonna try to do a spotted bass. I'm gonna try to actually show y'all in real time some of those fish biting the bait, show, see my bait get to the fish, what, what I'm doing with the bait and that kind of stuff. So, I mean, just gonna, kind of break it down exactly what we were doing a little bit more technical in this video though instead of us just catching them so we got a little sidetrack last time on just trying to catch as many as possible we'll do a little better today a little bit more discipline see if we can catch whatever it is there's my bait falling to them my bait's right on top of them oh one bit it it's my bait falling back to it see one coming out of my bait That fish right there that's off the, from the school that's on my bait. So if you can see right here, this is a school of crappie. This is a school of bait. And you can see either crappie or white bass underneath them. Probably crappie also. Just right there. You can just see the difference. These are big splotches. And there's all the bait right there. You can see the bait just gives you kind of like a, almost like a smoky image. Like you can just see there's something there. Because the shad are so small, they does what they give. They look like a cloud. Whereas over here, you can see the actual individual fish. You can see fish underneath them. You know, bigger fish underneath them, but they're probably not bass. Most likely not. The way they're set up, they don't look like bass. Like them two look like they could be bass right there, though. Let's see if I can throw a bait to them. Got pretty close. Can you see your bait falling? Yeah, there's my bait falling right there on top of this one. That's my bait. He's going to it already. Up, oh, tighten up. Mm, they're not bass, probably. Where are little bitty ones? See, there they are. Four or five of them. They bit, but they didn't get it. There's my bait falling around on top of them really deep right here so it takes a while to get down there so there's one that I already seen he's, he's chasing it now so he bit it you, you can see him bite it actually he's going back to it that's a bass see so he bit it two or three times a little 13 inch spot that's what's out here but they're out here in droves so there was about four or five with him. All right, so you can see right here, I've got my distance out at 60 feet. The depth set to 45, change it around manually on these really steep sloping lakes. I like to change my depth around manually, but we've got it shrunk down some because we want it to be kind of magnified, show up good on the camera. In a normal situation, I would have it where I could see out a little bit further. So that's kind of what we're doing right now, is just kind of trying to make it show up as best we possibly can on camera. There's a fish right there. Not sure what kind, it looks like a carp, I mean a gar, to tell you the truth. He'll probably come up right out there and turn around and go back down. Pretty sure it's a gar. See all these, those are fish that are decent sized, you know, not, they're not shad. You can tell they're not shad, but also not bass. They're not set up like bass at all. But there can always be bass mixed in with them. They'll almost always be spotted bass mixed in with white bass, crappy, whatever. They'll kind of get together. So you see one went to my bait right there. They're biting it right now. So most likely they're crappy. They're biting it, but they can't hardly get it because my bait's a little too big for them. There's my bait falling above them. See one chasing it right there. See them chasing it up. Let it fall right there to them too. Look like a little bit bigger ones. So I'm coming through. 
about that school right there. My bait's about right there. Try to find some old bass. There's bass. There's four. Thirty feet out. Bad cast. Bad cast. We might make it work though. Put my bait on top of them. See, I'm chasing it. They are under the trolling motor right here. Those may be white bass, or they may be spots. He got him one. No live scope needed. What was that off the bluff? Off that tree right there. Off that tree. So there's my bait falling straight to him. See, so there's three or four of them right under the boat. My bait's falling right down there. That one's already sees it. Chasing it up. Gonna be Ken. Hello. They're sitting still too. There's my bait going to them. I got something big. Ooh. There's a nice one. There's something in my pants. How about that one? Pretty one out here. Suspended. There's like six more with him. That's why they were staying put. I said they're staying put because they're large mouth. Well, they ain't moving 100 miles an hour. Just look at that though. Beautiful. That's what happens when they get out here when it starts getting cold. They just get pretty. They get fat. They get healthy. And they're the ones you want to be catching. Fighting over it. Six or seven looking at it. One bit it. I didn't hook him. It might not be bass. Dang, if I don't look like it though. Them are bass, for sure, right there. So. Them's bass. Come up and get it. Yep. Get in this boat. Hooked them just right. So that was pretty cool. We actually watched them disappear kind of into the cracks on these big rocks behind me. Like you could literally see them. Then they kind of disappeared into the cracks. So I just slow rolled that bait right over the crack. One came out and got it. Pretty fun. So I know it's still not really a good spectator sport because it's a lot more fun when you're the one that's reeling them in. Cause it's not that exciting to watch the bite or nothing like that but hopefully y'all got to see we got some good footage at least of some of these fish biting this bait but it's, it is it is cool to see it's unbelievable actually the technology we've got if you said seven eight years ago that this was going to be what was happening now everybody would have thought you was crazy but they might would have had the second coming of the salem witch trials i don't know try to catch one more always one more y'all tell me about pickleball I don't know anything about pickleball at all. Played one time ever, and it was last week over here. But you the service, uh, yeah, it's just like tennis, except uh, a little bit shorter cores. It's kind of made for older people, but it gets intense. I mean, we got some 21-year-olds that's going to be playing here in a little bit, and I'm 48. 
have no mercy on them. So it's all about how competitive the people you have are. You know, like any game, like you could be playing a bot of that flip bottle game, whatever it is, where you let's try to land the water bottle. If you got the right competitive people, it can get intense. So I think we got a good combination of people playing the old pickleball tonight. So talking about flip bottle, I think my little brother Ace is the only person that's ever been better at Kyle at anything, and it was flip bottle. No, we ain't played that. Yes, y'all. We ain't even had no competition of that. Oh, he used to beat you though. No, he didn't. We didn't have no competition. Mm -hmm. See, see, now this is the true Kyle. Every time he loses, he likes to like he wouldn't. <laughs> We've running. never played that game against each other. I'm just saying, you get the right competitive people, like the Elite Series guys. Don't matter what we'd be playing, like they'd probably be, be blood drawn. So that's that's how it's gonna be tonight.